Hey everybody, how's it going? So, as I mentioned in a recent video, the right to repair bill in New York succeeded in the state senate, it was voted favorably, but it never made it through the state assembly. It needs to make it through both the senate and the assembly in order to go to the governor's office to become a law. And the problem here is that it stalled in the assembly. So we've raised a lot of money, and thank you so much for everybody that helped with this process to go towards either a ballot initiative or lobbying in favor of right to repair. We fell short of what was needed to do a ballot initiative, but we raised a lot of money that could be used to do a lot of good lobbying for right to repair. And I am in the process of coordinating a strategy to make sure that we do this right. So I thought that I would call and email the members of that committee in the New York State Assembly. And I gave them my 40-second elevator pitch. Some of them have two or three phone numbers per assembly person. It's like, I think, 15 or so on that committee. And there was a few outside the committee that I also wanted to speak to. So I called them all up, emailed them all, and gave them my little spiel and just asked, is there any way, feel free to tell me if you don't have the time, is there any way you could possibly give me some insight as to why this failed and what we could do to be better advocates in this issue? And this morning, I went to take my uh, morning piss. So I'm not a morning person. I am horrible when it comes to mornings. I don't like waking up early. So what I do to get myself up early, and what's been working over the past few years, is I drink a giant jug of water before I go to sleep at night. And then usually around 6 or 7 a.m., needless to say, there is a, a run across the 70-foot apartment to the bathroom on the other side. My bathroom's on the opposite side of this apartment to my bed. And I went to do that this morning. Now, this is my peaceful time. I don't bring anything with me into the bathroom. I don't bring a newspaper. I don't bring a, a cell phone. I bring nothing because this is a sprint to get this water out of me <laughs> before I start my day. And today I did that. And then I hear the phone ring. And it's ringing and ringing and ringing. And unfortunately, I'm stuck with this uh, decision that I need to make. Do I want to run out immediately to get the phone? Or do I want to spend seven seconds washing my hands and cleaning my junk before I go on with my day? And unfortunately for right to repair, I chose the latter. I chose hygiene. I get to my phone. I see a 518 number in my call log. I call back and I hear New York State Assembly operator. And I say, I just received a missed call from this number. And he goes, well, sir, there's over 3,000 people working here. So I have no idea who that was. And I go, thank you. And I hang up. No voicemail left, no reply email. The reason right to repair won't pass in New York City is because I was taking a piss and I didn't want to sacrifice washing my hands. This was me calling to speak to a politician and then within 18 hours actually calling back. That is a unicorn moment and I ruined it by washing my hands. So the lesson to be learned here, and I'm learning a lot as I try to become uh, a kind of transition from doing board repair to political advocacy, is take the phone into the bathroom. Don't wash your hands after you pee. Had I, wash, had I not washed my hands after I peed, right to repair could be getting through the assembly right now. Oh, this is horrible. So I went to tell my good friend and co-board member, who I also used to teach with, Jessa Jones, this, and she sent me a picture of this and said it is worth $20 for the future. And knowing her, I'm pretty sure that this is on its way to my apartment because that's, that's the kind of friend that she is. Just something to think about before you wash your hands when you pee. That's it for today. And as always, I hope you learned something. In all seriousness, I just wanted to give... An immense thank you to everybody who contributed in any way, shape, or form to this 501c4 that I've started, regardless of whether it's even monetary, just getting other people involved in the fight, understanding what right to repair is, understanding why it's an issue, being excited about it by getting them to work on their own stuff, or teaching them how to repair other things they didn't repair before so that they can make more money repairing things so they understand the value of right to repair. It is highly appreciated. I'm working with a few people right now to come up with a strategy. There's over 17 states that have bills in them, and I want to come up with a strategy that that makes sense and I want to take my time to do that and what you have all done is given me the ability and the means to have the opportunity to do that and for that I am incredibly grateful even if I screwed myself by washing my hands after I took a piss many will ask why don't you take the phone into the bathroom with you that is my peaceful time my morning piss I wish to be undisturbed by dinging 
by stock graphs, by news alerts, by social media. Just me and the toilet. I'll see you all in the next video.